I'm not shooting you guys, but please smile at me when you talk to me, motherfucker, please. Anytime I say anything, just look at me and smile. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. Even when I'm doing the seminar, coaching stuff, breakdowns, whatever, if I'm talking to you and you don't smile at me, I don't. I want to stop talking to you. I just want to, okay, I'm going to turn the camera off. I want to fuck off. I'm not going to coach you anymore. Do you understand? Because it makes it difficult for me to continue the conversation. It's like physically painful. It's physically painful for me to look at you and you say, you look like a retard. You understand? But when you smile, I'm like, oh, thanks for smiling. Why? Because the human brain has something called brain mirror neurons. When you're not talking to you and you're just on your phone, I know you're taking notes, but when you're talking, like, I, I don't want to coach you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Like, if you're sitting there, not at attention, like, look at the way I'm sitting. Look at the way Aiden's sitting. Aiden's making eye contact to me from across the room, okay? Cam is too. Cortez is too. Dan, you're sitting there and you're like, <sighs> and you're just like on your phone, just like not looking at me. I'm like, okay, why am I coaching guys? Guys, fuck off. Leave my house. Fuck off. Get out of my house. I'm not going to coach you, okay? It's, it's, it's honestly disrespectful, right? Let me ask you a question. If you're trying to close a giant marketing club, you're running a marketing agency, right? That's what you do. If you're trying to close a fat deal and the guy and the and the guy's just on his phone, do you even want to take him on as a client? No. no, you're like, okay, fuck off, dude. You don't want me to help you, fuck off. Right? Imagine you're trying to sell the guy and you're just looking on his phone, on your phone, you're ignoring the guy. Is he gonna want to do business with you? Yes or no? No. Obviously not. So please communicate effectively with me right now for the next four hours while I'm teaching you stuff, or I'm gonna end it and kick you guys out of my house. I'm serious, okay? What's up? So like really like, just that point, that just thing right there. Right? I know you guys are tired, bro. You don't think I'm tired too? Do you want me to coach you or not? Yes or no? Yes. Do you want me to coach you or not? <coughs> so smile. Can we all just like, I want everyone to do a little exercise. Everyone laugh for 30 seconds, do it. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ha 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 how do you guys feel when you do that though? Do you not feel lighter? Do you not feel more awake? Okay? So every time I'm talking to you, just like try and enjoy the conversation. And it makes it easier for me to coach you and I can actually deliver more value as well. Okay? I'm not trying to shit you guys. I'm just kind of letting you know. Imagine this. If I feel that way, how do you think the women feel when you're not smiling and talking to them? How do you think women feel when you're not? Who's more intuitive, men or women? Women. Of course. How do you think women feel when you sit there and you're not smiling at them and you're not like beaming with energy and you're not positive, they don't want to talk to you, dude. You're, you're actually being a dick. Does it, does it make sense? So why do you have saying there last night with two bottles in my hand, smiling and dancing? And I'm just like, ha, 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 hi, nice to meet you. Come to our booth. I'm like the Joker. I'm like a psychopath. I'm like, ah, come on the table. Ah. And then also people keep filming me and shit, right? I don't want to be on camera looking all like stern and shit. I want to be on camera like, I'm going to have a great time because the videos will go, when you see my content on Instagram, the videos that do the best, is it me being all cold or is it me smiling with a bunch of hot girls? It's me smiling and open and body language, relaxed body language and confident. Yes or no? Do you guys agree or disagree? Right? So this plays in everything. Right? Also, if you just stand there, you just look creepy as fuck. If you just stand there not smiling, you look like a weirdo. You don't look like you belong. Does it make sense? I just, I'll just shove you at the table. I'll just like, move. Have you ever seen me shove anyone and say move? Because like I look around and I'm like, who's adding value and who's not? Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? You were killing it last night. You were fucking doing amazing. Dude, this guy was constantly, were you a bit drunk? Were you drinking last night a little bit? Uh, I didn't drink, no, but I- You didn't drink, drink at all? I had like, like-, like Dude, you were on a vibe. I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you were drunk as shit. No. no, but you know that's a good thing, right? Do you, know, do you know what that's called, guys? Do you know what he was able to tune into? Flow state. It's flow state. Do you know that? Do you know what flow state is? Yeah, I read the, I watched the video. Okay, so he tuned into flow. I don't know what video you're talking about. I have so much content. Flow state video. Okay, so he tuned into flow state last night. He was all like loose and like, he was like, dude, he was like high. He was like, <laughs> I look up in here, I'm just like, I love you, bro. I just gave him a hug. Cause I just felt his full self-esteem, his full self-love. And he just wanted to share. I felt it. I felt it with me. And I wanted to give that back. Does it make sense? Love share, collaboration. We were collaborating. Next, you know, <laughs> you're sitting with this hot ass girl on his lap, right? The girl, like, I guess she knew my content or like, I don't know, I don't even know who she was. I never met her. We saw, we, we how, her how did you meet her? Or you just met her off the street? Like before I was going in life. That's so what happened awesome. was raining, right? Yeah. Oh, you're such so a pimp. The, it was raining. Like, such a pimp. The only, only place that I could go and run a street game was that big stretch where it's covered. Yeah. yeah. The awning instruction. Yeah. 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 So I was just waiting. Okay, there. yeah, yeah. Oh, smart. Like, steps were just Smart. By. It's fucking genius, actually. I didn't, th well, I didn't think about that. Fuck. 
There must have been so many girls there. Fucking hell. It's right it's right across from Century. So thank you. She was like I said your girlfriend was really key. Like she really helped. It's gay. She was really like welcoming. Well, this is the power power of wingmanship. This is the power of social you guys, we are a social circle here. Your girlfriend is part of our social circle now. You're part of my network now. You're part of the social circle. Right? When we're out together, it's like you're not the boot camp student. Even if you are, like it's part of the social circle. Right? But it's like I'm hanging out with him and his girl. Does that make sense? Okay, this powerful shit, dude. And she was all over you. I, she knew my content? She'd seen your content. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, because I, like, I had a couple like, I had a couple like female videos that like went viral or whatever. And um, it's fucking genius, dude. So savage. So then um, she's all over you. And then I see you with another girl and you guys are like, do I see the video? Do you get the video? I texted to you. He's just like, I mean, you're just there with bitches. And I, I just assume he was drunk because he was on such a vibe. But actually, it was his body and face fresh fucks to me voice. Right, and it's self-love because when you love yourself fully, all that stuff's in alignment anyway. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you not pull on that girl? No, we made out of it. But. She's definitely got a fuck. She probably, how old is she? Twenty. Damn, dude, she she liked you, man. She liked you. And it, you know the dynamic, the vibe you guys had was like you guys are together, like she's your girlfriend or some shit. Yeah. So I didn't know how you knew her, yeah. right? So she liked you, bro. Like she she probably wants to date you, dude. She's fucking cute. Yeah, I don't really like brown girls typically, but she was fucking cute as fuck. She was really attractive, right? Like, like don't get me wrong, she's skinny and like, um, she like whitewashed, she's like born here and shit. Yeah, perfect. Baddies, you know what I'm saying? She was very attractive. Um, was she by herself? Yeah, she just came from work. Dude, from work. and you just picked her up off the street, stopped her from what she was doing? Was she about your friend? Oh, that girl, yeah, another girl knew me. Every, bro, I met like every girl in the city at some point. Like, like I met tens of thousands of women in the last three years you know, since COVID ended or whatever. Like, it's fucking retarded. Like, I, I go out and the girls are like, oh yeah, I know you, I met you, I've been in your house, I've been in your booth, I've met you at this club. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I've, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, we, were, we met at Century, right? And they're like, no, no, Rebel? I'm like, oh yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, Rebel. I'm like, okay, cool. I just, you know, fucking, because those are the venues I've partied the most. Fucking crazy, man. Yeah.